It's called like, what is it called? It's like, hold up. What's this font called? Or carnival, 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 carnivali freak show. Carnivali, carnivali freak show. Carnival, 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 fuck. Carnival, 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 freak show. Carnival. Fuck. What is going on guys? It's your boy Sesso here, bringing you guys in a video here today, bringing you guys a 2D manipulated uh, collage western theme banner design. Yep, we're calling it that. So, uh, as you guys can see, this is like a fun little western uh, kind of theme going on. I asked you guys in live stream, like, what the hell do you guys want to see? And you guys were like, manipulation, and I was like, alright, and I was like, I'll go for it. So I've seen around, of course, like these little fun, like, manipulated sort of like, I call it collage, I feel like it's a lot of focus in the middle, and there's like a whole bunch of stuff around it, and then, you know, it, you know, that's it, I have a lot of influence from the actual live stream when I did por uh, portfolio reviews, where people were just like doing like these really older, you know, kind of things, western things, so I was like, let me give it a, let me give it a shot, see what I can do, and I got this going, so, yep, that's what gonna be doing t uh, today, there are, I believe, like what, like, t uh, five stocks, something like that, so if you guys want them, they'll be in the description down below, five stocks here i think that's five right i can that's six yep okay so all right so uh, yeah if you guys want to go ahead and get those in the description down below you guys can go ahead and do so and pretty much you're gonna get, get started it's not that hard whatsoever really it's just a lot of fun cc work and sort of making things blend together and just try to make it look as clean as possible and uh yeah so i, I also thought this little white text here like made this banner for some reason i don't, I don't know don't don't talk about it anyway let's go ahead and get this thing going and, uh, yeah. Alright, 200 likes on the video because I see it down below. And as always, guys, don't forget to leave a like and all that cool stuff. And if you haven't subscribed already, you guys should do so. Alright, let's get going. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this thing going. We're just going to hide this and we're going to throw in our first stock, which is going to be this torn paper stock. And pretty much we're going to make this fairly big by holding Alt and Shift and then clicking on the, like, the right-hand corner or left-hand corner. And then just making it bigger. And for this stock here, I'm going to make sure, I'm sort of going to, like, I want to make sure I see these tears on the left and right-hand side also the top and bottom so the way we're gonna have to do that is because this does have a white background we're gonna have to fix that with using uh, using the eraser or just using the actual masking tool which we're gonna be using right now so follow my lead just press W on your keyboard and then hold shift we're not you can click the first one but hold shift for the rest of them to select multiple spots of this whites just like so right and then if you guys don't know about the whole little uh, masking little uh, tool here uh, once you click on this thumbnail both of your foreground color and your background color will turn black and white uh, just in case you guys don't know, black is to erase, and then white is to bring it back in. So, if you just press Alt Backspace for the quick fill for black, you can just basically erase things very, very simply, very easily. And this is how we're going to actually fill in our spots here, or excuse me, erase them. So, I'm going to make a duplicate of this image again. So, Control J on my keyboard. And I want to make sure I get some tears on the top hand side as well. So, once again, the same exact thing. Click on the thumbnail, W my keyboard, use the magic wand tool right and then press delete or not excuse me not delete i just i just that's if i if that's if it was the eraser alt backspace sorry and then we're gonna go ahead and just is this one here is this white here for this it is let me get that as well boom all backspace all right so another duplicate for the bottom at least right and we're just gonna put the bottom one we want to have like a nice little bottom tear like right here is pretty good click on this thumbnail w on our keyboard and make sure we erase all these little white spots here as closely as we can so it looks as clean as we could to get it well that, that's everything yep all backspace now we are for this actual bottom one though it does cover the left hand side and the right hand side so we're just going to use the erasure of uh, the erasure the black brush and we're going to go ahead and just erase this around here make sure we show this up here again and then show this right hand side and i think that looks pretty good i think that's looking pretty good i don't want to erase too much down here go back there we go I think that's okay. All right, so we now have the tears in all, both, all, all four sides. And so basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this last, or the first layer here. And then we're gonna make sure this is all the way on the bottom because you see these little spots here, this is the background color. And we're gonna hide that. So we just wanna take these duplicates, move it over to the right to get rid of it. Control J again, 
move it over to the left to get rid of that over there and now we have a very simple sort of like fun little torn paper sort of you know start to go with this so it looks pretty good i'm down with it and i'm gonna go ahead and just throw in our second stock here which is just gonna be like more added texture it's just a wooden texture here i'm gonna move this above everything for a second also move this right above everything here all right so on this texture here we're just gonna make this fairly big let's just say like so and let's just go ahead and just turn this all the way to uh where is it pin light right here right we're gonna hold the opacity down and we're gonna say to ourselves where i think this looks the best right here right i would say so so we're gonna take this to pin light we're gonna put it on like 25 percent or so and we're just gonna make a duplicate of it move it over to the left by holding alt and then we're sort of just trying to put some more texture in here like i said so i'm gonna use this little uh masking box here again take my black brush and erase this little awkward thing here there we go because it overlaps as well we just want to have it look something like this looks pretty good and right now there is no brightness and contrast we will add it in a second though and this will pop out a lot more so having it at 25 percent is definitely okay so we're gonna go ahead now and throw in our sign okay let's throw in our sign here we're how big does this have to be i would say like how big was it it was fairly big okay so we're just gonna make this a little bit bigger just like so i want to leave it like right there Okay, now, if you guys ever struggled with actually getting all the white out of a PNG, let me show you guys really quickly how to do it. It's very, very simple, very easy. All you have to do is make sure the photo is rasterized. Sadly, you have to rasterize the layer, so fix your size up to where you want it. You want to use Select Color Range, and with Color Range, you can select any color. If you look at here, it selects any color that's, like, you know, really, really closely related. So if you clicked on white, you'll get rid of all the white. So even in these little spots here, this spot here, this spot here anywhere in between these little cracks. It will select all of it, like so, press OK. And all I can do is just delete my keyboard and it gets rid of everything, right? Very simple, very easy. So you see how these like actual normal white spots ever, like in here at all? That's what we want. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna erase, I'm just take my eraser, a nice little 100% hardness eraser, and let's see erase this stuff here. If you want to be incredibly, uh, incredibly precise and make sure you don't erase anything else, just take your pen tool, get in these little crevices here, right try not to touch the any of the actual images go on the entire left side so we can delete this go to your path make sure or you can right click make selection uh just like so press ok and then we're just gonna press delete our keyboard and there we go now what i'm gonna do as well is i'm gonna take my eraser and erase this here this is gonna be a little bit it's not gonna be too noticeable for anyone else's look like watching it and stuff like that or looking at it uh it's just it looks good right it doesn't look terrible it's like there was hooks there it looks fairly good fairly like invisible right and we're going to take these little white spots here so I can actually free transform it correctly. Right now I can free transform it. There's something over here. Where are you? There we go. I got it. All right. So I'm going to find the middle really quickly. There we go. Put it somewhere like right there. It looks pretty good. All right. So now we have our sign. Now the first thing you might say is how do you get yours look like like to look like this, right? There's a lot of color correction work. And there's also a sort of image balancing that you should like be aware of. So what you want to do is we want to make sure that this little plank here in the middle, we'll call it a plank, uh, is closely related in color to the background. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use a color balance to do this. So I'm going to use color balance, uh, and then I'm going to right click on this color balance to make sure it's clippy mask to this only this layer right here, right? So I have certain settings for this. I'm going to put it at negative 18. We'll say negative 17, and then we'll put it at uh, negative 20, and then we'll put it at negative 50. Now, I'm going to flip with this just a little bit. However, I'm going to put this to maybe... This shouldn't be at negative. This should be positive, by the way. Boom. All right. So, I think this is the closest we can get it to without, you know, crazy going... We don't want to make it incredibly the same color as the background. We want it to be at least closely related to the background. So, this obviously is like a grayish tone. We don't want that. We want some, like, more of like a brown. And that's how we get this color, right? It looks really good. It looks awesome. And I'm down with this right now. So... What I'm going to do next is the brightness and contrast that I was talking about. So, brightness and contrast, and we're going to throw this on negative 35 for the brightness, and then we're going to throw on 75 for the contrast, and there we go. Now we have a nice little look to it, and right away, if I just quickly show you guys, this is what happens if you don't do it, right? It looks very odd, it looks out of place, it doesn't look very good, and there's no flow to it, there's no seamless to it, but this here will help that out tremendously. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good actually. So what I'm gonna go ahead, and go ahead and do is quickly add a little bit more sort of uh, a little more texture in the background. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw in this sign again. Believe it or not, I'm gonna throw in this sign here. I'm gonna make this really big. 
We're going to make this to cover mostly everything. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the actual little uh, masking tool again. And this little trick you guys have, you guys care for it. If you click on this, make sure you click on the thumbnail and the masking. And then go to select color range again. And if you select the color, as you can see, it selects sort of these little patterns. And if you find a pretty good one for yourself, it's almost like a little, like a stock pattern. Ooh, I, that was really good, actually, shit. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna, all right, that's a pretty good one right there. Okay, so I'm gonna press okay. I'm gonna put this on linear light, which is, I believe, right here. And we're just gonna lower the opacity down, just so we can get a little more texture in the background. And as you can see, that does bring a lot more texture. It's not incredibly clean. It looks very now, like, sort of wooden and old, and it looks good. And this is how I wanna have it. I'm definitely down for this. And so I think that looks pretty damn good. So we're gonna go ahead and continue now. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just make this red so you guys know that this is the sign. And then right below the sign here, I'm gonna throw in a nice uh, sort of a makeshift uh, drop shadow, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and just click a couple times, just like so. I sort of made, I should have made my brush a little bit smaller, but I can just take my eraser, zero hardness eraser, come back in here, sort of make sure we don't get it crazy wild. Something like this, right? We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. All right, I think that looks okay. I think that looks okay. All right, sweet. All right, so what I'm gonna kind of do next is I'm just gonna go ahead and probably just add at least my text really quickly. And as you got, uh, the, the carnival text, we're just gonna go and call it that. And we're gonna call it, what do we have? I think we had the word creative in there. We're gonna put this above everything for a second. And we'll probably come back to this little creative text, but for now, that is what we're gonna do just keep it white just like that just for now and uh we're gonna go ahead and just add a couple more things right so we're gonna go ahead and just add a few sort of um like little stocks i'm just gonna show you where i got the stocks from really quickly this little stock in the folder called s1 is actually a lot bigger than this png so if you want to make this a lot bigger like you know, a little bit bigger at least that way you have the size that you kind of want and i'm gonna flirt with this size here so if i do press ok that way you see the quality is not changed because it's still relatively the same quality or excuse me this header here is 3000 by 1000 dimensions and i believe this stock is around 160 like 2000 dimensions so the it can actually be a lot bigger than what this is giving it to when you actually put it in so just notice that just realize that, that you could make it a little more bigger without changing the quality so i'm gonna go ahead and just take three different images which is gonna be this one here uh, i believe it's this one as well right yep this one as well and then this little crate here so the way i'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take my uh, lasso tool and I'm gonna go around each image just like so. Right, just like that, right? When I have this one here, I'm gonna right click it and then layer via copy. And then this is gonna be one down if you just wanna see it, it's over here, right? It'll be one down, I'll go to this one, take my lasso tool, which is L on your keyboard and go around this one over here. And there we go, right click layer via copy. Now we have that one, and then last but not least, we'll go over here and get this little crate. L on my keyboard, get this crate. There we go, layer via copy, and if we want to, we can just delete that, because now we have the three stocks that we're gonna be using, which is right here. I believe there is one more, though. Which one is it? The fence, right? Let me get the fence really quick, actually. Let's go and get the fence. So it's the fence, which is right here. L on our keyboard, and then take this one out as well. And there we go, right click, layer via copy. All right, so I can just give her the fence for now. We're just gonna call it fence so we know what it, where it is because it's not, I'm not gonna do it just yet. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I take all the white out. And as you guys know, you, either you can use the actual magic wand tool for something like this, delete my keyboard. And then I can use the, excuse me, what is this called again? Color range, right? So you see all these little white spots. So you don't have to actually click on every last one of them with the actual magic wand tool. You can pretty much just select the white on the outside, press okay. And then it'll select everything that's white in this actual entire thing here, which is what you want. And then you can press delete on your keyboard, and then it gets rid of all of it for you guys. And, oh, why is there a white sort of ring around it? Let's fix that. Uh, let's go ahead and just take my eraser here. Make sure we go around this. Do you guys hear that? What the hell is that? Um, Just like so. This little white ring, you see it? There we go. Now I got rid of it. That looks pretty good. And then last but not least, this one here. So select color range, press this white one here, delete on my keyboard, and I believe we're good to go. There is a white ring around this one too. What the hell? I never even noticed that. Maybe it's on the actual even final image that I did. Oh well. That'll, that'll do. All right, sweet. So now I have my three little images here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do really quickly before I even start everything 
is I'm gonna click right above my text here and I'm gonna select a color around here which is around this maybe this like gray or this blue or whatever I said gray this this brown not blue there we go a uh, nice little soft brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and just click a couple times like here here there 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 just sort of like a nice little zigzag like a little W I'm gonna do <laughs> sorry that was a weird one uh, linear dodge add which is right here and I'm gonna load the opacity down a bit and there we go we have a little bit of color going now you can see like it's a little it's just popping out right if you want to take your eraser if you don't want uh, light in certain spots sort of like take your, take your eraser a little bit you can flirt with this a lot more right but just for now just have a nice little color get in there and we're gonna go ahead and start throwing these stocks behind here so I'm gonna call them props why not I'm gonna throw this one behind here where's the actual sign I'm gonna throw this, everything behind the sign so I'll put this right here right I'm gonna make a duplicate of this and put the left hand side the right hand side over here and now I already sort of know where my placement was since I already did this already but if it was for you just kind of figure out where you want the things like uh, realistically you even have to use the socks that I have uh, given to you guys I just wanted to give you guys something just in case you know it's hard for you to find them and stuff like that but you know it all depends on what the heck you guys want to do so realistically this might not even apply to you if you're not even using my stocks however when you do start placing your stocks around just realize that you're going to be placing them in a you know sort of a spot that you feel is necessary or you feel is right um and i'm going to go ahead and just take this black brush and then erase that's an eraser there we go brush okay put that over there and we're going to put this other one this windmill thing windmill there we go i'm going to put this one like right here or something maybe even make it a little smaller sit like that right all right sweet and there's something popping on the bottom that's pretty good that's pretty fine it looks good all right so and then i'm gonna add in the fence where's this fence at it's right here i put this above everything actually and i'm gonna make sure i use w my keyboard magic wand tool select that get rid of it and i'm gonna sort of just leave it like right there that's fine I'm going to use the actual uh, uh, masking tool again. Take my black brush. I'm going to make this a 100% hardness black brush. I'm just going to get rid of this and make sure it stops right on the sign. I'm using my eraser. I would, be, I would be more precise and use my pen tool, but for tutorial purposes, you guys understand that I'm just getting rid of this with the eraser just because, right? And I'll be as close as possible so it's not entirely ugly and, and annoying. Uh-oh. Let's just say like right there. All right. There we go. And the reason why I also use this stuff is because if I wanted to, if I want to get it back, let's say I made a mistake or something like that, right? Um, if you guys wanted to, you can just basically take your brush, make it white, and if my mouse would cooperate. All right, that was super weird. My mouse just like gave out. But anyway, if you guys care, if you guys click on this little thumbnail on the fence, right? And you just had like, you just change your color to white and you want to bring it back. That's how you do it. It's very simple, very easy. That's why I do use the little uh, sort of, I guess the masking thing just for things like manipulations because mistakes do happen and you would probably want to fix them, right? So really now at this very moment, it's sort of like the construction is kind of sort of done in a way, right? However, there's a lot more lighting and stuff that I want to do for you guys and show you guys really quickly. So at, above this fence here, I'm going to throw in a couple more lights or different lights. I'm gonna take a different shade of brown this time. So I'm holding alt by the way to get this color picker thing going on. Just trying to get a color that's like maybe like this. Take a nice soft brush and just click in a couple more different spots. And this is just kind of sort of helping with lighting to make sure there's like no weird focus light that we have to do and it just looks really good and whatnot. So it depends on what you guys want to do, but definitely just try to try out these little different lights. And if even if you do like something like this, right, where it's very vibrant, if you press control U and you take your lightness and just bring this down the actual light of this will obviously come down and it'll look a lot better for you to kind of like mess around with besides using the opacity and that's just something that you can probably keep in mind right so really quickly as well i'm gonna make sure i want to have this sign where's all these little props i think these are all the props right is this a prop all these are props right oh razor has to get an update i see probably that's why my mouse is messing up all right uh sign and then where's the fence there it is i want to make sure this is sort of in the middle a little more in the middle there we go I think that looks pretty good right there that's sort of in the middle right like everything together yep that'll do all right so this little light here and then pretty much now I'm gonna show you guys a really cool little trick of course the exposure we gotta put an exposure in here and for the exposure I'm gonna put 0.434 and then for the gamma correction 0 0.0434 please there we go and the gamma correction we're gonna go ahead and put in 0.78 
right? And for the exposure, what this will do is sort of like give everything like an even playing field. And also put this like sort of like a foggy kind of feel to it as well over everything as well. So if you want to see like, there's like no real sort of like crazy depth going on once I put this exposure on. So you can see here, it looks just like, it doesn't look like a shadow anymore, but it looks like, yes, it is, uh, it is like, you know, seen as a shadow, but it's not really crazy, like, you know, crazy dark and whatnot in areas. I don't know how to explain it. It just looks good, and I really suggest you guys do it. It's something I've been doing for, like, forever, and it's something I really, I don't, I don't know, I like it. So, one thing as well that I want to do is a color balance, again, over everything this time, though. And the color balance I'm going to put on is going to be a negative 11, negative 5, and then 40. And this will kind of give me like a nice blue tint. And I think this looks really good in my opinion. Yes, the orange is sort of weird and whatnot for me. I don't want too much crazy orange. I want a little creativity with it. I want nice little blue tones to it. So if you guys want to, you can lower this down if you don't want crazy blue tones. But it's sort of what I wanted and I like it. I do like it a lot. So I'm going to put it on 35. Maybe not 40. 35 is fine. That'll do. Right? And then I'm going to put also another brightness and contrast. Or actually, we'll do vibrance. Vibrance. And I'm going to put this at negative 25 and then 30. Right? It's kind of like just bringing out a little more color and stuff like that, right? And really quickly, let's just go ahead and add another another light. We're adding some layers of light. We're going to add this like dark brown in like areas like this. Maybe we'll use soft light this time and not, uh, what should we call it? Yeah, let's try soft light. Soft light. There we go. You know what we could do as well is to make sure like all these edges on the outside look kind of like burnt. We can use soft light as well. Let's just go ahead and put this on linear light for now. Control U, lower the brightness down here. Maybe even change the color a little bit. Is there a better color I can use? That'll look good. Uh, the green tone, that looks pretty good. That tone right there is fine. All right, so uh, I'm gonna say below everything besides the props. So right below the props, we're gonna call this props. We're gonna take our brush and we're gonna take a black brush. And we're just gonna take the black brush and simply go around just like so. You can almost call this like a vintage thing or whatever, but if you put it on soft light, make everything nice and dark on the outsides. If you want to lower the opacity down, of course. Also, if you want to, you want crazy bleeding or whatever, just take your eraser and re-go around. But you can definitely look at, it looks more stained and stuff like that. It looks really good in my opinion. So, really quickly, just because it's going to be bothering me if I don't do it, is the text. So, I'm going to change the text color really quickly already to like something like, I think this... Around this is the best color, I think. Yeah, this color looks pretty good. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna press Control T and I'm gonna press this little wrap tool here. Now, if you guys don't know about the wrap tool, on the left hand side, these little things come up and you can put arc, you can put whatever the hell you want. But a little cool thing as well is if you wanna click this, you can do other different kinds of arcs or whatever, or a different sort of angle. And I'm gonna use this type of arc. I'm gonna lower my blend and stuff like that. I don't have a complete setting for this as well. I'm just gonna sort of like freehand it really quickly, but sort of just have a little fun with it. Just give it a little displacement, give it a little fun. I'll even say that looks pretty good right there. Press OK. Right? It just looks a little, like, a little more better, right? Than just having a stagnant, sort of static, uh, just look to it. I think this looks pretty good as well. I'm going to go ahead and just put over, let's just put over, I'm going to take this then. I'm going to take this, duplicate this, and then put this above the text, and then clipping mask it, right? Let's get a little more texture on it, just like so. <clears throat> Maybe even take this little number two here. This is my second one. Right click, clipping mask this. And then find a nice little, let's see, what will look good? Let's see, let's see, what color? That looks pretty badass. Let's put, lower the opacity, of course, a little bit, though. I think that looks pretty good. That's fine. We'll add, actually, quickly, a nice little drop shadow, of course. Drop shadow, and then we'll just lower this distance down. Well, no, put the distance up, but lower the size down. Hmm, okay, okay. Put the opacity maybe like 85 or so. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's go ahead and put this inner glow maybe. Take a color from the outside. Maybe even this brown. Hmm. That looks pretty good. I'm definitely down. Press OK. Press OK again. The text looks 10 times better now. And now really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple more things like the wheel. Let's go ahead and add the wheel. Make that a fairly good size, right? I can just go ahead and take this and erase this with the black brush. Click on this little thing here. Wait, is that the thing? Yeah, it is. Where's the black brush? I'm using the white brush. Change the black and get rid of this. Sweet. I'm going to put this thing right here. And we're going to put another one, a copy over here as well. Just rotate it like right there. And then even make another copy of it. Make it super small. 
put it down here and then we'll take our gun throw this in here right and then I'm gonna just quickly use rasterizers really quickly select color range press white press ok and then delete my keyboard there we go we'll shrink this to a fairly good size and then put this right over there okie dokie that looks pretty good and pretty much last but not least you can sort of add it like add like a complete sort of brightness and contrast over everything like negative 20 and then 40 there we go we're looking real good and these little spots are kind of sort of dark to you go ahead and just make a new layer take a brush take a nice brown or whatever from the actual canvas here i'll just use something like this a nice soft brush just click a couple times around and then use linear dodge add right lower the opacity down a little bit so anywhere you want this little bit of color throw in that linear dodge add and it looks pretty badass right or a little bit of light not color excuse me and i think it looks pretty good these boxes are floating right now let's go ahead and put a quick little uh where is our drop shadow we're gonna put the drop shadow next to the, this drop shadow as well that way the color correction is still the same make sure we change this to black lower our brush put that little drop shadow there and then maybe even make another uh layer for these drop shadows on this little fence part here probably not gonna be the best looking shadows in the universe however take your time on it and then sort of think about it a little more than I am. I already, like I said, I already had my construction in my head since I already did the example. But things like this come out looking really good if you take your time on it. And to be very honest, I think we did a fairly good ass job recreating this, and I'm pretty hyped. Now I'm gonna quickly just let's just uh, Control J everything, Control E, or Shift click on everything. Let me repeat that. Click on the first layer above everything, right? Click on the last layer, hold shift, so you can select everything, control J to make a duplicate, and then control E to merge it all together, and then you have one nice little layer of everything, right? I'm gonna take my blur, lens blur, and we're gonna go ahead and just add like a nice little 10 radius, 30 blade, I don't know what the hell that is, but just make sure your brightness is not up, press OK. I'm gonna use this here, take my black brush, and then make sure we have blurs and just areas that we kind of want them and we don't want them in certain areas as well there we go i think we are pretty much done that is it so hopefully you guys did enjoy i hope you guys enjoyed this little fun little western sort of theme maybe have more themes let me know if you guys want any more themes like comment it down below Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I might be live streaming even, I'm trying to live stream like every Friday or so, so catch me on YouTube, I believe it's like gaming.youtube. No, it's gaming.youtube slash sesohq slash live. I don't know, but I will be streaming today if you guys care or not, if you're watching on the day this is uploaded. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys do enjoy. Do not forget to hit likes on the video because I see you down below, which will most likely be the PSD of this video. We're going to have the tutorial version, and then the one I took more time on and stuff like that, right? So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, dude, I'm, I'm really hyped. I'm already happy how this came out. And uh, yeah, if you guys want the stocks, they're in the description down below as well. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SissoHQ. Do not forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. And check out Selfie. Check, uh, check out Selfie. My Selfie. Selfie.com slash SissoHQ for any premiums and packs. It's always three bucks. And that will be all for me today. Uh, yep, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Hope you enjoy your Friday. Hope you enjoy your evening, your night, whatever the hell you're watching this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Talk to you guys later. SissoHQ out. Peace. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive. Later.